My name is Mark Miner. I am an investigative writer and author. In my travels, I've investigated many people and places. Watch as I seek out stories that are typically outside of the box of normal. I am the Seeker. Hi guys, so me and Robert is back here at Van Duzer Corridor. This is part two of our investigation. So hopefully that doesn't mean rain's coming. We hear the wind picking up. So um, we are out looking for what has been reported as a government base out here. So somebody, I shouldn't say somebody, a couple about four years ago was hiking these back trails as you can see here these are logging roads this is where we just came from and they said that they were they had walked they were just hiking and they came across a fenced area that looked like government buildings so they thought there was a government base out here near the town of Boyer which we're just on the outskirts of it so we're hiking these trails to see if we can find it I did, however, go on satellite, look on satellite feeds to see if I can see it, and I saw no buildings out here that would show as a government facility. Of course, they could have it covered, you know, camouflaged or whatever. But um, anyway, so we're out here, and we're trying to figure out all the things that are going. What's, what's the reasoning behind all the stuff that's going on here? People murdering people and dumping bodies out here. Um, ghost sightings. Um, ritualistic killings. I'm trying to think of everything that was out here. People yeah. reported walking on the side of the road. Yeah, people, uh, like ghost people walking along the side of the road. Um, just, all, I, I mean, I'll recap all that. There's a lot of different reports. Yeah, it's there. like tons of stuff in this Van Duzer corridor. So we're trying to figure it out, and we're just... Now we're getting rained on. Yep. <laughs> so it's okay. We're prepared. So, okay. So uh, I guess we're going to continue on. You guys are going to follow with us for a while. We'll try to keep you dry. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of hard to keep the camera dry. I mean, I do have an umbrella in my backpack. Um, but it's just kind of like a light rain. There's not much rain going on. And we got a pretty good tree canopy. But I am going to put my finger on the lens, guys. There, get that water away from you guys. Okay. So, it's kind of hard to pick a sunny day for us because we work throughout the week. So, we really only get one day to do this. And we live in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're kind of at the mercy of the weather. And you're gonna hear us breathing hard because we're walking uphill. So. And it's good to breathe. Yes. I'd rather you breathe than pass out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <clears throat> so it looks like you got more. Ooh, new growth up here. Which means that they just got through logging. Probably what looks like three or four years ago. Yeah, yeah. Two years back. I think three and five probably. Just a quick judgment off the heights of the trees. Yeah. Okay, finger on lens, guys. But even in the rain, you find beauty. Maybe if I tilt the camera down a little bit. It is super beautiful out here right now. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's going to get really rainy. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys, so it's starting to rain a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put my camera in my bag so it doesn't get wet. And I'll turn you back on when we get to drier lands, okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, guys, so we 
are on the trail that ended and we're hearing what I think sounds like a chainsaw in the woods but Robert doesn't think it's, it's a chainsaw You're right, that's not a chainsaw. That. Is that the trees? I think maybe. I was wondering if it's that one tree right there. It looks like it's tried to fall. And it's leaning against the tree that might be here. See that tree right there? It's creepy. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to go towards the noise. See, this is. <laughs> This is how stupid we are. That is the tree. It's gotta be when one of these trees is rubbing each other in the wind hits Okay guys, sorry finger. Yeah, it's gotta be when these trees are rubbing each other. So that's the trees rubbing up against each other. So it's not an animal. Can you hear that? Oh, of course, they're not going to make that noise now. There it is. Okay, so we know what it is now. I, I thought it was somebody with a chainsaw. And so, of course, we wanted I wanted to turn on the camera in case we get chased out of here with the ch guy with the chainsaw. Then again, I thought it was an animal. But it's not, so it's just the trees rubbing up against each other. All right, so let's get back down here. <laughs> it is a weird noise though. It's it is. Fun. That is super creepy. Oh, okay guys, oh, we're still getting wet, so I'm gonna let you go and I'll come back on. See you in a little bit. Okay guys, we are back. Oh, you careful? Oh, I'm gonna let Robert see if he hurt anything. But we are back on the trail. You okay? Yeah. So we're back on the trail, and uh, we came across Robert saw that, and he wanted to kind of see what that was about. Uh, but it's nothing really. But we keep like we're catching the smell of weed, which you know what? Welcome to Oregon. It's gonna smell like weed. But we found this. Looks like somebody's target shooting. What's weird about this though, is how they have a crotch, a center with a heart drawn on it, and then a head. And uh, what concerns me is how they got how many shots they got in the crotch. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm thinking, this must be women shooting these guns or something. So, cause I think it would kinda make a guy flinch if he hit that, but anyways. So we are hearing some kind of weird stuff. You know, of course we heard the trees, but that was a chainsaw. And then we heard what sounded like a moose or four-wheeler or equipment or something. And then we heard like some other stuff and we figured it was traffic. But, um, so uh, nothing really, we didn't find any buildings. And uh, walked out to the end of this road. Yeah, we went clear to the very end, like Robert said nothing so you know the Anduza corridor is so huge what's that i noticed these other signs back here are marked uh, 8b or 8 road yeah number 8 road and this one says spur 
but it definitely spurs my attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, someone that? give this man a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? Uh, spur. Spur road? A steep road though. That is a very steep road. So. Huh. Maybe that sound again, huh? It's gotta be traffic. Or, or the maybe. wind. Because to us it sounds like maybe a vehicle's coming this way or it's got to be traffic yeah, off the highway. Gate, right? think yeah, they can unlock it though. Yeah. Right so that, I don't know if you guys can see that. See that winding thing all the way up there? That's pretty steep. Do you want to go up it? I'm game if you are. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker's going to kill me. <laughs> okay. So, see how it goes, I guess. I mean, before we go up there, I'm gonna shut you guys down because I don't want you seeing this. This ain't this isn't gonna be pretty. So, uh, we're gonna see what's kind of up there if it levels out or not. And then I know I keep breaking off with you guys, but um, I don't want you to necessarily be with us with all the boring parts. So, um, I will let you guys go, and then me and Robert will see you guys here in a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, we are on top, almost nearly on top. Not too far to go. And I just wanna show you the view up here. So it's beautiful. It's kinda of rainy, a little misty, so it's hard to see. But uh, that's, this is the, the, what's the word? The prize at the top of the mountain, the view. Yeah. So okay. even though we got a good workout coming up here for a little short time, this is worth it sometimes. All right, let's go. I'm gonna keep you guys on. Excuse the water on the camera. So, yeah. But when we were coming up, Robert almost stepped on a snake. So that was kind of cool. A little bit of wildlife after the trip. <laughs> yeah, we didn't find anything paranormal, but we found a snake. A bunch of birdies. <laughs> And of course, going down is even worse. Where's your legs out? Yeah. Calves going up, thighs going down. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, that rain's coming at us sideways. Yep. Pacific Northwest, right? So we get that bi-directional rain. Oh yeah. <laughs> Horizontal. Vertical. It's really not that cold out here. No, it's actually quite comfortable. Yeah, it's warm. The rain, the water, the, the water rain, whatever. The rain's kind of cold, but it's not that bad. Like I could totally hike in this. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. And it's not saturating this. It's just no. I mean. The tall grass saturates. The and my pants are wet with my shoes finger on the lens guys and so robert his pants and shoes are a little bit wet oh yeah the shoes are pushing out air bubbles <laughs> yeah i think mine's more noticeable because i'm wearing the tan but i just got these pants at a second hand store for like 3.99 you can't beat that i know and uh So I, uh, I wanted to uh, try them out today. Good fit? Yeah. Comfortable? Good, good. I like the cargo pants. That's me too. I'm a big time cargo pants. Yeah. Me too. So one thing that you guys should know about mine and Robert's friendship is that like we have a lot in common. A, a really lot in common. How old are you? 38. Okay, so... Um, so I'm, I'm trying to do that. So I'm 16 years older than you. But still, we have so much in common with our taste, our styles, our lifestyles, the way we think. You know, we have the same amount of kids. You know, it's, it's really weird. I mean, you have three girls and two boys, right? Two, uh, two girls, three boys. Oh, okay. And uh, anyways, so we were just talking about, like you just heard, 
for the cargo pants. <laughs> and it doesn't surprise me that we both prefer cargo pants. Even cargo shorts. Yeah. I like the cargo shorts as long as they go down to the knee. Yeah, knee or past. Yeah. Not too far past. I don't want to be a cholo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, I don't want to walk around feeling like I'm wearing Daisy Dukes either. Yeah. So. And the spare pockets. There's something about the cargo pants and the spare pockets. I yep. like to have pockets. Because for me, it's because when I'm walking and I see a cool rock, I'll yep. pick it up and put it in my pocket. Robert, when he smokes, put his cigarette butts in his pockets. Um, I don't do that. I just leave them on the ground. I know. Send your hate mail to Robert Gardner Jr. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, it, it's the way. If we see a cool feather or a really cool pine cone or, you know, someone gives us pieces of paper like a receipt or phone number or something. Oh, yeah. We always have a place to put it. Petrified wood. Yeah, petrified minerals, wood. rocks. Yeah. Yeah. You never know what you're going to come across. Exactly. And then we go home at the end of the night and we empty all our pockets. Mm-hmm. Half of it might end up going in the garbage, but you know, it's part of life. <laughs> part of life. Yep. Most of my receipts, I'm bad at saving them, so most of you, you go in my pocket till the end of the day, you know? Yep. My last, the last woman I was with, when we lived together, she used to say, I always know where you've been all day by the shit that comes out of your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, so if I pull a handful of glitter, that's only because... It's <laughs> <laughs> only a few places you're going to get yeah. a full of glitter. Yeah. <laughs> I ran into a unicorn. That's what happened. <laughs> I guess at the end of one of those days, as long as she's not counting the money, <laughs> you're in yeah. better shape than, than you would be if she was, right? Exactly. Okay, we're back almost to the forerunner. I can hear the hear the traffic on the road. So we have completed this trail and found nothing. There are probably hundreds of trails around here or logging roads. There's no way we're gonna be able to cover every one of them. But when we're done with this whole Banduzer series. Robert and I will probably will be able to cover a good amount of hiking time. And and so if you do the odds of it, as much as that's happened here, you would think that we run across something bizarre by the time we get done. Yeah. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I want to run across something really bizarre. Sometimes it's just about getting out there and putting in the time and walk doing your walking around and your exactly your investigation. And it's the same with Camp Adair. When I went out to Camp Adair for started going out there, I heard stories about ghosts and shadow people. Never saw them. But the second year I went out there, I started seeing them. Things were happening. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, ah, okay, this is what they're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the Forerunner. We're at Highway 18. With all the crazy drivers. So Robert and I are going to let you go because we're going to go eat our lunch. Yum. And then we'll see what we want to do from there. So um, I'm not going to sign off right now. We're going to decide and then if we decide to end it here, we'll say goodbye to you guys. But for the time being, we're just going to say see you in a minute. All right. All right, guys, we're back. So we're going to check this out over here. This little area over here. And, uh, oh, there's look, there's some, right there. yeah, oh, there's a trail right here, dude. There is, huh? Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a trail. game trail. Our feet are already wet, so, oh, yeah, that's not a big deal. Oh, there's some right there. Sweet. It's dark. Are you talking about this right here? Yeah, this area. Yeah, from back there, it looked like it could be hiding building or... Something yeah, like that. it's weird how it kind of like circles. Yeah, right? The way the tree lines are? Yeah. I mean, that could be natural. I've seen weirder things in nature, but... Oh, that is weird. It's almost like you can... I bet you homeless people went in there. Maybe. Yeah, and hollowed it out a little bit. Yeah. It looks like a little homey area, kind of. Yeah. It's, oh, because these are... Uh, Planted fruit trees. 
this is like an orchard fruit tree thing. That's why everything's so so uh, confined. Yeah. But that's cool. I mean, you got a good good eye on that stuff. Oh, here I'll go. Ahead. So here's the some foundations. Found, 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 found foundation. What's the word of the day, kids? Foundation. Foundation. Can you say it in French? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say it in Spanish? Foundation. No. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Huh? Old brick. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how close all these buildings were. Yeah. I think these were barracks. I think so. Because they, they had the little... Yeah, they were up off the ground. Yeah. Like bunk houses. They used to call this... Oh, what did they call it? Um, oh, damn. They had a nickname for it because the mosquitoes were so thick. Oh. That they just suck the blood out of you. Huh. I can't remember what they called it. Yeah, there's a there's the brick. Yeah, smokestack. Oh, dude, is that something over there? Oh, looks like it could be. Maybe. Yeah, look at yeah, you. Got a good eye. Sometimes when we do these videos, I feel like the crocodile hunter. So I'm like, oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is a croc. Oh, I can't wow. do his He's accent very well. Still up. Wow, look at all the limbs that just fell. Yeah. That's crazy. It almost looks like a beaver or something that's building a home. Yeah. That's a weird foundation, though. It is. It's old. Ooh, and it's falling apart. Hey, are you able to walk around it? Another one right here. Oh wow, yeah, there it is, guys. Interesting, huh? Oh, weird. Somebody leveled it out here. Yeah, Oh, someone got to hold the thumper. Oh, yeah. So we did find something. Oh, dude, let opening, me tell you. An opening to a basement or yeah. Or I can't tell you how many times we've been out here looking for that. Yeah. And if I find it, we will become instantly famous because a lot of people has been looking for it. Right rubble right there. Yeah. That's why when we found that underground room. Yeah. We thought that was it. That was it. The entrance, yep. huh? The, yep. The way in. This is awesome. Yeah. It's all, it's almost like being an archaeologist. This reminds me of Africa. Yeah. I've like never been there, but yeah. Where a lion could be hiding. Yeah. I tell you though, if there was a big cat in those weeds and I heard a growl and it came running at me, you know what I'd do? I would fall on the ground and curl up like a little girl. Yeah. I wouldn't even try to outrun it. <laughs> Play dead. Yeah. I think you're a waste of its time. Oh uh, yeah, it'll still kill you though. But that's okay. Because if you run, it just want to play with you then. You're going to go through worse. 
I think we can get to the road from there though. Oh yeah, it looks like somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, they they had everything out here, from what I understand. That is quite the foundation. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice and opened up. Wow, a lot of coverage. Yeah, a lot of coverage. All right, so we're gonna finish walking back to the car here, and uh, I think we're gonna start wrapping it up. So I'm hoping you guys are really enjoying this. I got sticky all over my shirt. Enjoying this these episodes of Van Duzer. Um, I know we're not finding a whole hell of a lot, but then again, we might not until we, to our last episode, or we might not until, so I shouldn't assume anything, but, but you know, that's part of being a writer or investigative person or explorer. Out, yeah, explorer, outdoorsman, is when people tell you local legends or rumors, and you go and see if they're true. That's what, the, what that's what this is all about. This is what Robert and I are doing. So if we hear, I mean, some places we'll go because of a historical index, like uh, one of the places we went today. But um, but like the Van Duzer, we've heard so many stories of things going on there that we want to go out there and see if we can find it ourselves or experience it ourselves. So, if it was up to you, what would be the creepiest thing you would find in Van Duzer Corridor? Oh, I don't know. Anything. Really, if you, if you take into court all the different reports we've heard, you know, we, anything. Shadow figures, a mysterious base in the middle of a mountain somewhere. Yeah. Um, it's just a body in a bag. You never know what you're going to find. And being an explorer, is one of the things you go do is you take that chance. You yeah. You get out of the house and you go look. And you, there's no guarantee you're going to see something every time. But just being out there ups the chances of eventually something is going to happen. Yeah, and that's true. And I like, I, uh, I think for me it would be if we found a dead body. Yeah. That would be it for me. Now, I've actually seen a dead body out in the Van Duzer Corridor. Um, but that was when I was volunteering a whole bunch of us, hundreds of us were volunteering to find this person missing and we found him hanging from a tree. But if I just stumbled across one, that would freak me out. Do you want to go check that out? Yeah, I see that big wall over there. I wonder what's inside it. I don't know. Can we jump this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, we can do this. Because we're not sissy lalas. And the great thing about exploring too, like Robert and I are doing, is you remember when you were a kid and you'd come in all muddy and wet and your mom would be like mad? Well, now we can do it. Nobody gets mad. Yeah. <laughs> so we just go home, shower it off, and we're good. Holy crap, that's big. It is. It's really tall, huh? Isn't it? oh, Ouch. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's that smell of weed again, dude. Yep. Yeah, this is a whole Oh, there's a fireplace, still bridge fireplace Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, right there in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, super cool. All the way to the floor. 
Neat. This is a big you doorway. Know, you know how easy it would be to throw a reef on this and have Oh, I know. Have shelter? Yeah. Clear all that out? Yeah. Cover it up with other vines and yep. shit? Build a little tree branch roof out of it and throw which, the branches down. Which, if it ever gets to that point, now we know where to come, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we could be practically neighbors. Be better than concrete walls around you. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't be able to stand up too much, but... Yeah. Unless you built it up. Dude. There it is. Woo, strong. What the hell? I'm telling you guys, we smell marijuana. Big time out here. Really big. Like, is there plants around here? It smells fresh, like there's something growing in here. Maybe somewhere. they're having it in that... It could be. In that warehouse back there? It could be, very well. They're popping up all over the place now. Wow, I mean, it's bad out here. It is. It is I'm almost right. getting a contact high. Right There's another hidden one in the brush right there. Yeah. All right, it's starting to rain a little bit. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I do want to say thank you again for coming along on this episode. And we're going to keep digging into that banduzer, you know, theory or stories and see if we can find something. I also want to track down some of the people and interview them things that happened to them so that's going to take quite a bit because a lot of people don't want to give their names but anyways robert and i is going to sign off and uh oh we didn't we didn't give a shout out to you want to give a shout out to anybody um yeah we do a shout out for my oldest daughter caitlin hey there you go one of our newest subscribers hi we're out here having fun thanks for subscribing caitlin yeah and uh yeah, thanks for everybody who has subscribed. And if you haven't, shame on you. Right. All it, it is just a button. Yeah. You know. Tell your friends. Yeah. Get the word so, uh, it's interesting stuff. The, what you don't realize is the more you subscribe and like, which is just a click of a button, that gives us more money to do stuff like this. Keeps us going. Yeah. So we're not we're not make, getting rich off of this. Where did this? They just pay us to come do this. And uh, I love it. So. Uh, Anyways, we're going to sign off. Remember, stay weird. Be weird. Be, be yourself. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't be. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You just have to be surprised. That's right. And if you hit that subscribe button, you'll know. You'll know. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> His man knows. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.